Good morning, guys, and welcome to the homestead. We're gonna let all the animals out. We're gonna feed them breakfast. I hear deer out in the field calling. It's crazy this time of year. All the wild animals looking to get some food before winter time. It's a cool five degrees this morning, but it's gonna be 18 degrees, beautiful and sunny. So we're gonna show you guys what went wrong with our DIY water collection system. You're gonna wanna stick around for this one, guys, because you're gonna be shocked at what I did wrong. If you guys want to help out a homesteading channel like ours, the best thing you can do is watch a video from start to finish. Also, give it a thumbs up. It lets the YouTube algorithm know to share more content like this with the community. And I know the homesteading community is a generous community. So if you're feeling generous today, give us a thumbs up. It helps spread the word about modern steading and get videos like this in front of more viewers. And of course, leave a comment down below. We like to read your guys' feedback. The best part about creating content for YouTube is hearing your guys' feedback. Now that all the animals are let out and fed breakfast, let's head on over and check out the DIY water system. So you guys remember our water collection system for last year. It just wasn't enough water. July and August here in New Brunswick is really dry and you go through a lot of water when you're gardening. And I found these barrels just weren't cutting it. This is good for just like a backup or if you need just a little bit of water to do something. But when you got large gardens, it just doesn't cut it. Today I'm going to show you guys our upgraded system but it was a complete fail. And I wanna show you guys what we did wrong so you don't do the same thing we did. And we're gonna show you the changes we're gonna make so that when you go and build your DIY water collection system, it's perfect and it works the first time you do it. So we're gonna be using this IBC tote. Now I've already cleaned it out and I removed the brackets that go across the top here. So we were able to pull out the IBC tote out of the crate here so we can clean it all down. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull the plastic IBC tote back out of its holder and we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna spray paint it black. Now what that's gonna do is it's gonna stop the sunlight from getting in and turning the water all green and gross and starting to build up algae. If we make this all black, it will keep the sun out and hopefully reduce the algae buildup over the summertime. I also ordered an attachment on Amazon. It was like 13 bucks. It's going to attach to the end of the spout here and it, I'll be able to connect a hose to this so that I can water fruit trees and all the gardens around the homestead. To paint the IBC tote, I'm going to be using this Krylon paint. Now it's uh, glossy because that's what I had, but you can use flat if you had it. It's for plastic, wood, metal. It says no drips, no errors, no runs. So guarantees that my project <laughs> is going to be perfect. <laughs> no runs, no drips, and no errors. No errors. You so got like it wrong. Guarantees <laughs> that my project will be perfect. It promises. We've never done this before. No, but it says it's for plastic. I used this on wood before, but it should be fine. It also prevents rust in my plastic, so perfect. <laughs> rust in your plastic. Dries in 10 minutes or less. And today's 21 degrees and okay. beautiful, so should work good. Hopefully, and it's not too windy, which is good because too much wind means that it would Okay, just as you say it, the wind kicks up. Come on. <laughs> We got the entire plastic tote all covered in black spray paint. It took us about three cans to get a good coat on it. Didn't take very long. We're gonna let this dry. We're gonna put it back into the metal cage. We're gonna get it moved over into place and we're gonna build a platform out of pallets for it to sit on. And then we'll be able to run our gutter extension from the corner of the house into the tote. So now that we got the water collection system all painted and set up. I'm going to show you guys exactly where I went wrong. I made some huge mistakes and it caused me a lot of grief this summer, but next year I'm going to make some dramatic changes and I'm hoping this system works a lot better. So two major problems I had with this setup this year. First problem is the piping from the downspout on the gutter on the house. You guys can see here, I had to prop it up just to hold it because it would get really heavy and it would sag. And the connection pieces, that was a nightmare. Never buy pieces of piping that you have to connect together. 
Water is heavy. It kept falling apart. I had to zap strap it together and I'm still constantly fighting with it on a regular basis. That is one change that I'm gonna be making next year. I'm gonna buy one solid piece of piping that comes straight from the downspout to the IBC tote. Now my next problem I had with the IBC tote is its height. When you guys are watering and you're using a gravity fed system, your water needs to be higher than your arm when you're holding the hose. With that being said, I need to build up the IBC tote so next year the water level is above my shoulders so that I have water pressure when I'm watering. This year, it just comes out like a trickle and if you attach a garden nozzle to the end of it, well, basically no water comes out. So I installed this attachment where you can attach a garden hose to the end of it and it just screws onto the IBC tote. But I don't recommend this product, guys. I got it on Amazon. And the reason why I don't recommend it is this is too deep and the threads on the IBC tote are too shallow. So water was just leaking everywhere around this. They should have made this a lot more shallow to screw on to the IBC tote. So what I did is I just put a bunch of silicone inside there and then I silicone the edges and this made it watertight. Now after spending $13, I shouldn't have had to do that, but I wanted to make this work. Summer was here and I wanted to get the IBC tote up and running. Now that it's all siliconed on, I've been using it for about three months and I got no leaks, nothing. So if you do buy one of these, which I don't recommend you doing off Amazon, just silicone it, it'll work fine. So you guys can see the distance of the IBC tote. It's up against the house there. I got a few fruit trees along here. Now this is probably only about 50 feet. I got about a hundred feet worth of hose. This is a small cherry tree that we planted this year. The system for now works good. As you guys can see, with it laying down, see how much water comes out? But again, if I lift this up high, say I was standing here and I was watering, not much water comes out. But then I lower it back down to the ground level and tons of water comes out. So the system was great this summer for watering, just dragging the hose around and laying it at the fruit trees. You'd let it sit there for about 45 minutes and it would water the fruit trees. It was great. But for watering the rest of the gardens, if I put an attachment onto it, it just simply didn't work. But the fact that I had a thousand liters of water at my disposal sure was handy this year through the hot dry season of July and August. So I'm downstairs here in the wood cellar. We are all ready for winter. If you guys follow us on Instagram and Facebook, you'll see October the 1st, we lit our first fire of the season. That's because it was 11 degrees Celsius, which is super warm for this time of year. In the afternoon, we've been sitting around 16 to 18 degrees Celsius. Again, New Brunswick, September, October, 18 degrees, unheard of. The first year we were here, it was cold this time of year. Not this year. How much wood do you guys go through in a season? Five, 10 cords? Leave a comment down below. But we're gonna head outside, we're gonna check on the chickens, and we're gonna see how many eggs we got today. Are you ready to collect eggs, Mr. Owen? Yep. How many do you think there are today? 20 eggs. You think there's 20 in there? It's kind of early for 20, but we'll check. Okay, slide that open. Are we ready? Okay, put them in your basket. Fourteen eggs, and I see the chickens laid them all in like <laughs> one nesting box today. They always pick a favorite. Apparently, the end one was today's favorite. Yes. Now I'm gonna clean out the nesting boxes, put fresh shavings in, and there will probably be a few more eggs the rest of the day. We're gonna bring this in the house, and this one I'm gonna eat for breakfast tomorrow. Thanks so much for hanging out with us today, guys, as we showed you the mistakes we made with our DIY water collection. We'll see you guys in the next video. As always, thanks for watching.